welcome to the Eastern Cairngorms again. I am here with uh, Corey Hunter Mitchell and his pal Bob, I think it was. I'm very sorry if I've forgotten your name already, it was only 30 seconds ago. They've just plodded off up the hill a bit further up, but uh, yeah, we are here looking for mountain hares. And uh, they're going to be easy to spot today because there is no snow really. There's very, very little snow. It's mid February and uh, yeah, it's already pretty scoured. Um, I was actually here a year ago with John Barras and uh, we had some absolutely cracking encounters with the hares then in really deep snow. But actually, the fact that it was really deep snow and hard to walk through and really windy, and if the, it was hard for us to stand up, and we're, we're not small guys, um, John and I, and uh, yeah, it was knocking us over. So in the end, I wasn't really able to make a video out of that, but I've got a load of footage, which I'm gonna put on, the, uh, on this video for you to watch while I go up the hill and catch up with uh, Corey and Bob. So when I was up here last time, it was actually the first time of me using the Z9 in anger out for wildlife photography. And it was absolute game changer. It was amazing. And uh, yeah, I tried to, tried to talk about that to camera on the day, but the wind just whipped it away, blew my hat off, blew it down the, down the, uh, down the hill. And it was, yeah, daft. So, um, but yeah, since then, been a couple of firmware updates to this and the autofocus is supposedly even better so we shall see how it performs today i've got it on the 400 millimeter 4.5 with the 1.4 times teleconverter so uh gives me a little bit more reach than last time but at the expense of a little bit of light and uh yeah i've got high hopes we have already seen a number of hares further up the hill and uh, already see some red grouse as well, which uh, I tried to get a little bit of video of. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and catch up with the other two guys. Hopefully we'll see some hares. I don't know how much vlogging I'll do today because it's always harder to vlog when you're with people, but I'll try and put something together and maybe do a bit of a roundup at the end and uh, talk about what we see. So let's go up the hill.
an absolutely amazing encounter with a hare. <sighs> it came really close. <laughs> it was um, just lolloping along. Uh, I don't think it had noticed me sitting here, just, uh, well, waiting for the hares to get used to me being here. So obviously that was working. Um, it came really close and to be honest, it only noticed me because I tried to reach for the vlogging camera to show you guys just how close it was. But uh, yeah, look at this. I'll show you on the back of the camera. This has been a really great day so far. We've seen loads and loads of hares and it's been great fun chatting to Rob and Corey. He wishes he could be cool, you see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair, fair. I love going out on my own, looking for wildlife, but I also really enjoy it when there's company as well and uh, can have a few jokes and talk about stuff as well, well as well as uh, obviously looking for the wildlife. Um, in terms of encounters with hares, there's been a couple of times that I've got quite close, but not really been getting any sort of action, if you like. There's not been much going on with the hares. They've been quite uh, quite timid, to be honest. I think possibly that might be something to do with the fact that there's very little snow and they're white, and so they're maybe a little bit uh, more nervous than they might be because they're, they stick out pretty obviously in the landscape. Um, yeah, the plan now is uh, Corey and Rob have gone back down the hill. They've gone to the cafe to get a cup of coffee, which is not a terrible idea, but I can't resist staying another half an hour or so up here and just tracking along back the way we've come, just in case I get lucky and see, uh, see some more hares. Any difference in the Z9 compared to the last time that I could notice in terms of you know firmware updates and snappiness of autofocus? Nah, not really. I couldn't tell any difference really. It was working very, very well that first day um, back in March last year and it was working very, very well today. Uh, 
few occasions where it was finding it quite hard to focus on a white hair on white snow, but that's asking quite a lot of the uh, autofocus system, so that's okay. And uh, I've always got, as I think I've talked about before, with my function buttons, I've always got one of my function buttons to be 100% zoom. So I can zoom in and adjust focus if it's a still subject with just the manual focus ring. And I've also got another of these function buttons set to go onto 3D tracking single point. So between them, I've always been able to get the hair back into focus if, uh, if focus has been lost. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, go for a little bit of a walk further on that way. I'm gonna go and see if, uh, if there are more hairs to be spotted and um, yeah, if I do see anything else, that'll go on to the video after this point, but I'm gonna end the vlog part here, mostly so I can put the vlogging camera away and not be carrying it while I'm also trying to kind of crawl about getting close to hares. And uh, so, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed coming out, watching the hares with me today, and I hope you enjoyed the footage from last time, which I'm sorry didn't turn into a vlog that time because the weather was just bonkers. And uh, yeah, if you have, please like, share, leave a comment, tell me what you enjoyed. If you're new and you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The channel's just gone past 5,000 subscribers, which I think is absolutely awesome. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>